Hello guys, welcome back to another codingbat.com tutorial. Today we will be doing array 2, exercise 0, front. The question says, return an array that contains the exact same numbers as the given array, but rearrange so that all the zeros are grouped at the start of the array. The order of the non-zero numbers does not matter. So 1, 0, 0, 1 becomes 0, 0, 1, 1. You may modify and return the given array or make a new array. So, um... If we look at the first example, we have two ones and two zeros. So the two zeros are placed in the front and the two ones are placed in the back. Um, in the second example, we have two zeros and three ones. So the two zeros are placed in the front and the three zeros are placed in the back. Finally, um, we have one one and one zero. So the single zero is placed in the front and the single one is placed in the back. So how I want to approach this is, well, first, uh, what we can do is we can create an array that's just zeros. And then we can run through the original array and see which numbers are not zero and then just place them at the end of the array that is that is um that is full of zeros um and because the order of the non-zeros numbers does not matter uh it should be fine so i'll just create a temporary array um and i'll set it equal to the length of the original array and then I'll create a for loop and in this for loop we'll transfer all the contents of the original array to the temp array and then we will set every we will set every number in the original array equal to zero From here, uh, we want to start adding the non-zero numbers from temp back into the nums array. And um, to do that, we will need an index counter that starts from the end of the array all the way back down to zero. So its index is equal to nums.length minus one. So that's that would be the very last value in the array. For or that would be this would be the index of the very last value in the array. And we'll create a second for loop that transfers all those non-zero numbers as less than temp.length number numbers nums.length it, it really doesn't matter because they both have the same length if the temp at i is not equal to zero so all those non-zero numbers then we will set the number at index at index which is basically the back of the array and we'll set that equal to that non-zero number from temp and then we will decrease index because we want that index value to keep going backwards or else only the last number will keep getting changed. And then once we've run, run through that for loop, we should have modified it entirely and we just have to return this new modified array and we will get all correct.